the most interesting things that's happened in agriculture here in the last 20 years has been the launch of yield maps. People now have yield monitors on the combine and they can take a look at all that data on a map and say, oh wow, okay, I've got this great yielding area, but uh-oh, I've got this poor yielding area over there. So today we want to talk a little about analyzing that data. How are you going to use that data to make yourself more money on your farm? It was tough back in the day to say, well, I've got this field and it's yielding 180 bushel corn. How do I get that to 190 bushel corn? And we're making a blanket decision, doing basically the same thing across the whole field. That's pretty tough to get it to work because there's different problems, as we well know, in different little parts of the field. Now with grid soil sampling, we're starting to see how the soils come into play. And also with yield maps, we can certainly see what the end result is of all those decisions that we've made through the year. So as we're going through the fields here at harvest time, it's important to make note of what's going on. So you get into an area of the field that all of a sudden your yield goes from 180 or 200 bushels down to 120 or 130. And many times it may not look tremendously different from the cab of the combine. Get out, take a look at that spot in the field. See what's going on. Maybe there is a disease. Maybe we've got something going on. You can note right on your yield map and say, you know what, in that part of the field, I have this problem going on that I can come back and fix later. But here's the big thing. In a lot of cases, you're not going to be able to identify it at that point. It's too late. So what we want you to do is pick those spots and soil test them separately. Try to determine, hey, was this a nutrient issue? Maybe it was something else. So yeah, maybe there is no way we're ever going to know what the problem is there, but we certainly want to try to figure it out. Because when you have those enormous drops, like Darren just said, if you go from 200 down to 120, let's say it's a 10 acre spot. Okay, how many dollars per acre did it cost us? 80 bushels times, let's even say $3. Well, 80 times three is $240, times 10 acres is $2,400. That's a $2,400 loss per year. So you gotta try to figure out what actually is going on there. All right, so looking at a soil analysis and, and pinpointing that is great. Uh, I get back to the disease issue. If you see standability issues, mark those on your field map. Also, if you've got a planter overlap or a sprayer overlap, you're gonna see yield go down in those spots. Make a note of that so you aren't getting all worked up about, wow, what did I do in that part of the field? Hey, I ran over the crop there. Okay, I messed up. That was me, that was a mechanical error. It's not something where I need to spend a whole bunch of time and effort looking at, uh, all right, how do I fix a soil problem there? Or how do I fix a disease issue there? If you're making evaluations on your farm, let's say you try to fungicide for the first time this year, or you're trying an insecticide, or a different seed corn variety, or soybean variety, whatever it is. In a lot of cases, it doesn't take much yield difference to show that one thing paid or not. For example, with fungicide, let's say application cost, uh, cost of the fungicide, everything, all in, you're at $8 an acre. All right, if it was, let's say soybeans, for example, a two bushel gain, and you would have more than doubled your money, all right? Sounds like a good investment, right? To double your money. Well, are you really gonna see a two bushel yield difference on a yield map when your field is yielding 50 or 60 bushels an acre? Are you gonna show two bushel difference? No way. In a lot of cases, just the standard thing, when you download that map, get it off the combine, throw it onto your computer, you're gonna have five or eight zones. Well, the difference might be five bushels to the acre. Okay, so that two bushel thing isn't gonna show up. So there are two ways you can handle this. Number one, you can make an adjustment on your yield map data. So instead of having it five bushel difference in different colors, you could change that to let's say one bushel. All right, well then some of those things would show up. The other way to do this and what we do commonly on our farm is we will reset that weight on the combine every single round when we're doing trials. So that way we know, hey, this weighed 1,000 pounds, this weighed 1,050 pounds. And we, we can basically better identify those little gains a lot better. Otherwise, you just have to go back to the old school method of, hey, we're going to dump this in a truck or in a, in a grain cart and we're gonna weigh it out. Well, you definitely have to pay attention before you get into a field and let everybody know, hey, we've got a soybean inoculant trial going on here. Soybean inoculant cost me $1.50 or something like that. Uh, so I'm looking for a half bushel gain or more. And that way you get everybody excited about it and you start watching for these small changes. And if you've got some spots out in the field where you're doing these strips like Brian was talking about, 
Mark them out in advance. Make sure everybody knows where they are because I, I can't tell you how many times I talked to farmers. Well, I had a trial out there, but then, man, it was going really good and we just ended up combining right through, so I really don't know how it did. You just wasted a whole year of data on your own farm. And when it gets right down to it, when you're going to make those decisions this winter and next spring, you really trust the data from your own farm rather than some average across the country. So once again, pre-harvest any crop, make sure you're looking at, hey, what trials do I have going on there? Be real careful, be real diligent when you're going through and harvesting those things and take a close look at your yield maps. And, and if, you, if you say, look, I'm never gonna be able to tell the difference one bushel on my yield map, then actually weigh it out and go to that step when you're looking for those small gains on the small investments on your farm. One other thing that may throw off your yield data is if you have a large patch of our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this weed coming up next.